This is the workflow video for chapter 1.5. What we're doing in this chapter is having the identical square, two of them, to form into a shape. One sh forms into a triangle, the other forms into a circle. So let's delete the materials and do it all over again. So I open a folder and 1.5, and I'm dropping a texture. Actually, this is a guide image, so drop in the guide image, turn up to 50%, and lock it up. Then, texture. Okay. And I'll put in the square. I'll first do the triangle. Give the square a. Oops. Square in rough parts and give the square some dots. For a triangle one, I'll go with the traditional. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. going to give it a perimeter. At the des end destination, we'll move it down here. Enlarge it. I might need more points than that. So, divide by 4, and that's good. Now let's squish everything. that, move it down here, a little bit more, like that. I'm going to fix on the point individually. This one in the corner, so I'll move it up here. back up and this go down right down up trying to balance it out so that I have a nice edge like that good On the other side of the triangle this up and I need all these in I'm trying to uh, recreate that corner over there so that I balance it out a little bit ooh okay not too easy on me move this in there and then I move this how is this looking let's zoom out and have a look not too good so I'm going to push this in probably this push all these in Give it a sharper edge. Now move this in. Stretch it, push it. Maybe 
be like that. And almost almost okay with that. There. So I'm going back over here. Put it in. Seems I have to move multiple points. This one. What is this controlling? Oh, this is related to this one. So I'll move it here and then try to rearrange them in a better order. And I'll go here. Mm -hmm. I think. It'll be okay as long as I have all of them stick to the edge like that. Yeah, pretty much if they're all at the edge lined up they should be good like this there's two to push it back out a little bit do this so that's pretty good let's have a look from here I'll slowly slide the perimeter it's forming into the shape like that that's my triangle now I need my circle so put the another square in Hopefully it'll go better this time, and I'll do a first a cr cross, and then I'll do a star. I'll do one, two, three, four. <coughs> Divide by four and four again, and there you go. Give it a parameter, two points. At the end point, move it downwards. Cover it all circle. There. Try to cover it evenly. So probably like that or something like that. And I use the soft tool. And rub it down here. Towards the inside, like here. Overdid some of the sides, so I'm gonna push these points out again. Mm -hmm. And I use more soft tool to finish the job. Probably make it smaller, like that, to do this part. It's almost like the smudge tool in um, Photoshop. If you find 
another way to do this, an easier way to do this, you can share it in the comments and share it to everyone. Uh, probably that. It's pretty easy. Drag this part in. And this part. Push it in. So it cuts down the blur blurry outline. Push, push, down, there, there. So one more corner left. Let's push everything in. This time I'm doing it individually. Too bad. And I can leave those outside, I don't really care. Unless they create a blurry edge right there. See this blurry edge? I'm gonna push this in. Now it's gone. Then this in, this in, push a little bit more on this little corner. It's fairly okay. And that's that's it. If you like, you can always like keep this in. It doesn't really matter because these polygons are not holding any texture at all in, in inside them there's no pixel or anything so they can be ugly if you want it's just sometimes you might misclick things if you have more complicated structures I mean usually you do have several textures layered on, on one on top of the, each other so having too many dots in random places really uh, gives you some space for error anyways this is how we do and we got the triangle and or uh, and uh, circle like that and we're done